and it's only right that you guys get to know the person behind the channel and also the face behind the channel well you know the face already so get to know the person behind that face hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to do something totally different this channel is relatively new and it's only right that you guys get to know the person behind the channel and also the face behind the channel well you know the face already so get to know the person behind that face so we're going to be doing some q a sessions so these are some questions that will help you get an insight to the kind of person i am see you in a bit so what's your name my name is Toya C, hence the name of my channel, Truthfully Toya C. Where are you from? I'm originally from Nigeria, the Yoruba tribe to be particular, and Ijebu babe to the nitty gritty, but I live in the UK. How old are you? Well, do people still keep count of their age? I think I lost count a long time ago. <laughs> are you single? In, I'm married. <laughs> I'm off the market. Did you go to the university or college? And what did you study? Oh, well, uh, I'm not so sure how you guys categorize it here, but uh, the university is a tertiary education in Nigeria. So I did go to the university and I studied medicine and surgery. What do you do outside YouTube? Outside of YouTube, I do a lot of things. I do my duties as a wife. I do my duties as a mother and a mom of twin for that matter and i also work as a medical doctor what inspired you to start your youtube channel i think that's a hard question because um there are lots of things youtube is like my go-to for a lot of things but i think my life is interesting enough and i like to make memories i like to document memories and what better way to do it than in this manner. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to start this YouTube channel. So let's go to the fun part. Which song is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> okay, that's a very easy question for me because this particular song is funny, but it is my guilty pleasure. The wheels and the bars go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels and the bars go round and round, all through the town the wipers on the bus go swish 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 the wipers on the bus go swish 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 all through the town this comes from my favorite part the mommies on the bus go shh 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 the mommies on the bus go all through the town if you have children then you know this song and thanks to miss rachel do you have a pet peeve um i wouldn't say the pet peeve but there's this thing in particular that i don't like my husband does it a lot when i ask him what time it is instead of telling me the actual time he just gives me an answer like it's the two or after two what do you mean to two or after two do you have a favorite spot yeah uh, i have a favorite spot although in um, secondary school which you guys call high school here i used to play a variety of sports i used to play football i used to play handball but i enjoyed and volleyball by the way three sports football handball and volleyball but i enjoyed football a lot i'm talking about the sport where you kick balls around and shoot it into the net not the american football so i enjoy that a lot what is your favorite team Huh. Well, that's a bit that, that that's a hard question because I used to be a Chelsea fan. <laughs> used to be a Chelsea fan. But things are just going south for them. I don't know what's going on at the moment. My husband is a Madrid fan. He has forced me to watch Madrid and I think I'm beginning to love Madrid. Real Madrid. So, what makeup item do you usually wear? That one makeup item that I would not leave the house without is a lip gloss. It could be uh, a chapstick, a lip balm, or a lip gloss. Just something to make sure that my lip is not breaking. If you could be an animal, which animal would you be? <laughs> well, there are lots of animals, but I would say 
a cockroach. Not that I'm a pest or I like to be a pest. It's just that there's something about cockroaches. They are very tiny and I consider myself petite. So you see where I'm going? So they are very tiny. And aside that they are tenacious when it comes to survival, it's very hard to kill a cockroach. You try to kill a cockroach on the wall, you see it flying in the air. So um, I like that about them. You know, they can adapt to situation and they are very tenacious about survival. Do you think dreams have deeper meanings? Funny enough, I was asking someone this question this morning. Uh, well, I think it's subjective. If you're asking a scientist if dreams have deeper meaning, a scientist will tell you that when you sleep, some part of your brain stays awake and the part of your brain that stays awake now recaps whatever it is that you've done over the day or the possibilities of things that you could do later in the future that you've been thinking about. So, but for me, um, I'm more of a spiritual person. I think to a higher authority, which is God. I'm a Christian, by the way. Uh, I don't think that um, dreams have deeper meaning. Not all dreams, because it's not every time you have a dream that you start thinking, what does this mean? Yeah, some dreams that just, it just depends on how you feel after the dream. When you wake up, do you feel settled in your spirit? Or do you just feel like something is not right? Or you don't even remember the dream? So it depends on how you feel. It's a personal thing. It depends on how you feel after you've woken up from that dream. If you could be a Bible character, who would you be? Uh, I think the obvious answer would be Jesus Christ, right? Because everybody wants to be perfect like Jesus Christ. That's what Christianity is, being Christ-like. But for me, there's a particular interesting character in the Bible. This character looked the devil in the eye and told the devil, I win and I stay true to who I am. This character is Job. Job lost everything he had. And to begin with, do you know what kind of confidence your father will have that will tell the devil, go and meet my son and test him. I know that he's not going to fail me. Do you know the kind of confidence it takes? Can your parents beat their hands on their chest and say that I know what my son is going to do, I know what my daughter is going to do? I highly doubt it. And the fact that at the end of the day, Job did not fall God's hand. Like the devil tested him with everything possible. His family, his wealth, his riches, his health. And this guy stood firm. I mean, it's amazing. I wouldn't like to walk in that shoes, but if I was to be uh, a Bible character, I think Job would do it for me. What is your favorite feature about yourself? Uh, my favorite feature about myself? Well, are we talking physical features or just things in general? Physical features? I don't know. I think my eyes. I like my eyes. I think they're very, very cute. I like my eyes. Is how you define success today different than what it was when you were younger? Um, absolutely. When I was younger, I used to think that success was, um, you know, getting rich, being able to afford whatever it is I wanted to afford, traveling, enjoying life, and just living the chilled baby girl life. But now I've come to realize that success is a lot more than that. Because at the end of the day, when you have all of this, does it make you happy? Because there are, there are a couple of people that have money, but they are still not happy. So for me, success at the end of the day is happiness. What three words will you use to describe yourself? Okay, uh, this does feel like a question an interviewer will ask a candidate. But in three words, I would say that I am, I am optimistic, I am intuitive, and I have a lot of self-confidence. So I'm going to explain. When I say I'm optimistic, I always believe that at the end of the tunnel, there is a bright light because it can't be dark all the way and at the end of the day, there will be no light. This is a concept that I have shaped my life around and it's helped me realize that whatever I'm going through, at the end of the day, there will always be a reason to smile and a reason to give thanks to God. So if you're going through anything right now, just keep pushing, keep pushing through that darkness and know that at the end, there's a very bright light waiting for you. Intuitive. When you say that somebody is intuitive or when I say I'm intuitive, what I mean is, um, I don't know, but like I have the ability to know some things without even having any evidence. I have a strong conviction of things that I don't even have evidence of. And at the end of the day, it turns out to be true. At the end of the day, those things happen. 
this one, I like to call it a gift because it's something I have been praying for and I thank God that he's blessed me with that gift. And the last one is self-confidence. It's, it's not easy building self-confidence because you have to build it. It's not something that happens overnight. So it's something that you have to be intentional about and you have to cautiously build. And I have, I've been doing that um, right from my early university days. If you ask my friends that went to uni with me, they will tell you that this girl is delusional. You know, I would wake up in the morning and say, I'm the most beautiful girl. It was things that are not true about myself, but things that I'm hoping that I'll grow into. And at the end of the day, it's worked out for me. In fact, it's carried me into my adulthood and I trust myself and I'm very true to myself. What is your favorite Bible verse? Okay, there's this particular verse that take, that, that gets me through anything, anything in particular. If I'm happy, this verse is in my head. If I'm going through challenges, this verse is in my head. If I'm going through like serious problems, this verse is in my head. And that's John 1, 5. And it says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not or the darkness does not suppress the light just to paraphrase so you know no matter how dark or how thick that darkness is if you light up a candle the darkness in that room can never suppress the light and that is my favorite bible verse because it gets me through a lot of things what would your channel be about oh uh, interestingly uh if you check my banner you'll see lifestyle health and family so those are the three things that define me of course lifestyle is all about um, god uh how we can be better versions of ourselves and the things i'm doing that i would like to share with you guys so when it comes to health i'm a medical doctor by profession so i'll be sharing some tips and tricks on how to improve your physical health and also your emotional health then family i'm married have two kids two beautiful boys they're a set of twins so guys i hope you guys have enjoyed getting to know me if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like and click on the notification bell so you get any videos whenever i post them and then please subscribe to this channel and let's continue to grow together see you guys bye bye